Hello and welcome to another video from TechBeat. Now today's video is going to be a fairly short one. This video is going to explain how to fix an issue where a script using Selenium Chrome driver isn't working. Now in this scenario I've set up a Python script to use Selenium in Chrome and that's to autofill a form for me. Now this script is really basic but it's created just to replicate the issue and show the fix. Now essentially the issue will be that Chrome has updated and all we need to do is update the latest Selenium web driver so that it's matching the current web browser, which in this example is Chrome. Now let me just run the executable and there we see. So the script is called jam and you'll see that the script is just about to execute and then it stops. Now we can read the output and the last line is most important. Now it states the current web browser version is what it states as 98047810. Then read the line above it, which states they installed Selenium Chrome driver only sports Chrome version 96, and that's the issue. So first thing we're gonna do is update Chrome to the latest version, and that will prolong the need to do this again. But likely it is that you will need to do this each time you update Chrome, or whatever web browser is in use. Now we'll head over to the settings, click help and it will just auto update. We're now on the latest version which is 980478102. Make a note of this as you'll need the relevant version number to you at the time you run the update of Chrome. Now head over to the site where the Chrome drivers are hosted and select the relevant operating system to you. In my case it's Windows so it's Win32 zip file for me. Now you can download the zip anywhere on your system, however when you extract the zip you'll need to do this in the same folder wherever you've saved your script, otherwise it won't work because it can't find it. Now the step before I got the zip shows you the version number up above the actual file. You'll need to match that to the current Chrome version that you checked earlier. So I've just skipped over that bit but that's all you'll need to do. So now you can see me extracting the zip in the relevant folder, which for me is the root of a certain user. And that's all you need to do. Now what we're gonna do is test it. So let's get a new PowerShell up, run the script again, which is python.jam, and it should work. There you go. So now the script is executed and it's filled out the form exactly as I intended. Hopefully that makes sense and I've made it as straightforward as possible. If not, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. I'll also leave a link to this um, with the relevant uh, sites to it that I've um, referred to and that will help you as well. Other than that, thanks for watching and hope you find it useful. 